sexual mores that people have. And, and she's still doing that now. What was your reaction when you saw, uh, when you saw Sandra Bernhard and Madonna show up on Letterman in matching denim outfits, making fun of Letterman and talking about going to the cubby hole? I was um, a VJ at that point. I was on, was this 1988 or something? Yes. 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 And I was a video VJ on VH1. And I remember saying on VH1, did you see them last night? Oh my God. And I said, how do you become friends with Madonna? How weird is that? How could you possibly, <laughs> like, that's what I, my take on it was how odd would it be to be her friend? And then we ended up being cast as best friends in the movie. So um, I, I don't remember having a, a real specific feeling about it because, you know, Madonna was Madonna, you know, she was Madonna and, and uh, the biggest star in the world. And I couldn't imagine, I couldn't imagine it, you know, and I didn't know Sandra so well, but she always kind of was like one of the cool kids in school who smoked and had a black t-shirt. Totally. And I, I was the prom queen and the senior class president. So I didn't think she and I would get along necessarily so well. She scared me a little bit, but I've, you know, come to know her and she's actually very kind and warm and, but she did present an image, like even the way she was to Letterman, the way she sort of is in the world, you know, Sandra, like, you know. <laughs> Rosie's doing an impression of Sandra, San, San, Sandy B right now with her lips. Yeah, yeah. My lips out there like, yeah, man. Yeah. I'm loving it, Dave. You know, <laughs> had you I mean, you must have seen before you met Madonna on the movie. Certainly you had seen Truth or Dare. Yes. Just before I saw it. I saw Truth or Dare and I said to my then boyfriend, Michael, he said, I bet if you met her, you would be friends with her. You have so much in common. And I said, yeah, but Michael, this is why you don't know anything about show business. I'm a comedian. She's a rock star. I'm never going to meet her. There's never going to be like a party where we're hanging out. Cut to Penny Marshall, literally a week later saying, Rosie, we're going to have Madonna audition. If she likes you and likes me, she'll do the movie. Don't fuck it up. That's what she said. <laughs> Um, has she ever, you know, con you know, considered your input, you know, well, let me rephrase this. So this used to be my playground, which by the way, one of Madonna's best ballads was the theme for a league of their own. I'm not quite sure the history of the recording process, uh, or like where that song was, was written and recorded, but did you, did she play it for you? So considering it was the theme song. I was there when they recorded it. So I came to the studio with her and, um, she was, had a full orchestra and she was listening to them do the beginning part. And she says, could we stop? One of the violins is sharp. And everyone's like, what? She's like, one of the violins is sharp. And everyone hit a C. D, 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 D. So that's the one. And they fixed the violin. And I, that's when I was like, so awed even more by her was to see what an amazing musician she is, what an amazing ear she has, what, you know, I mean, she's really one of a kind and her superstardom is warranted in fact i would say she is incredibly underrated as a melodist and a songwriter yeah yeah i think that you know i mean listen